So I, I read an interesting stat recently, um, and it was from the Manpower Group, um, and it said that 79% of millennials said the opportunity to learn new skills is an important factor to them when deciding where to apply for work, and that 78% would switch jobs to learn new skills even if the pay was exactly the same. Now, I know that there's a lot of conversations going on at the moment in boards about retaining millennials. Is it simply because we're not giving them enough opportunities to learn? Yeah, look, there's a, that learning is a huge factor right. for millennials. So career development is one of their biggest drivers as well. Um, it's also the, the want for flexibility as well. Okay. Um, and it's looking at more of like a work-life integration approach rather than your typical you know, we always used to call it work-life balance, right? But mm. now we're struggling to even find any form of balance, you know? And look, the ownership is on the millennials themselves too, you know? We, right. I, I'm always an advocate for the fact that, you know, as an individual, you can't just rely on the company to provide you with all this training and development just How the way I? that you want it. Like, you have to be in the driver's seat. And so if learning and development and if career development is super important to you, you need to table that conversation with your manager so that they understand what's actually in your head. Yeah. Because we can't have these, you know, often yeah. at the workplace, we have these silent conversations where we're yeah. all angry with each other and no one knows why because no one's actually verbalised what's going on. So we need to take so, control. Yeah, taking responsibility and then having, you know, getting clear on what it is that you want for yourself um, on an individual level because if you're not clear, no one else can support you and no one else can help you to get there. So it's really getting clear about, you know, what you want and you might, you know, get some support in, in getting clear in the first place. Mm. Um, but then it's also, you know, having those conversations with your manager or with your leadership team to say, all right, here, here's ideally, you know, where I'd like to go. Here's what I'd like to, you know, bring to this organisation and the value that I'd like to bring and what mm. I'd like to work on. Um, and, you know, talk about some of the options about, you know, ways that you can support each other to get there. It's like a, a you know, two-way street in a way.